Hello everyone, long time no Sephora play unboxing. <laughs> I was so sad last month, my box got lost in the mail. I don't know what happened, I was very sad about it. So it's been a while since I've done one of these. I guess I was maybe spoiled because I did my Sephora play for June would that have been? And then I got the iconic box and then maybe that was just too much Sephora play and the world was like, you're not getting next month, and then my July box got lost in the mail. And I was really sad because July was an awesome Sephora play box. <sighs> Which I feel like usually when there's an awesome one, the next one is not so awesome. So chances are this one's not going to be quite as awesome. But hey, who knows? Maybe they're going to do two really awesome ones in a row. We shall see. I'm excited to unbox this with you guys. So let's do this. Enough with the chit chat. Let's slice this open. Oh, before I open this, I suppose I should let you all know in case you are new to Sephora Play, you're new to my channel, whatever the case may be. Sephora Play is Sephora's monthly beauty subscription box. It is $10 plus whatever tax is in your state. Pretty sure in Minnesota here, I always forget, but it's like 76, 78 cents ish. So I pay 10 70 something per month for this. At first there was a pretty long wait list for these but I feel like the wait list is pretty much done. I don't know you guys can let me know. I feel like it's pretty open enrollment for the most part and then in each box it's kind of you know a curated little collection dependent on the season or if there's a holiday around and they give you one perfume sample and then they give you five deluxe samples so all in total you're getting six samples and yeah I think that's about it. Ooh, speaking to my chemistry side, it's got like a made up periodic table that is so freaking cute <laughs> for different like beauty elements. Oh, that is just, that is absolutely adorable. And then it comes with your Sephora Play Pass here. You can bring this in stores and if you make a purchase slash, some people have said you don't even need to make a purchase. It says on here that you have to make a purchase and that's just always what I've done, but the person at the register will scan this in and you get 50 extra beauty insider points with that. So I'm gonna put that aside because that booklet contains all of the products and I want this to be a surprise. I'm so excited. Look at this little chemist girl. Or boy, I guess we really don't know. But it just says makeup geek on there. Very cute. I suppose, there you go, there's a better view of it. We kind of match, don't we? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Something tells me there's gonna be a lot of skincare in here just based on that. I always like to find the perfume sample first. There we go, there's some cardboard just because the- oh no! Okay, there's the perfume sample. The perfume sample is always my least favorite part of these boxes and I'm pretty sure I've smelled this before. It's the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Eau de Toilette. It says it's fruity floral. I don't remember it being that fruity floral, but let's see. Let's give this a whiff if I can get this off. Oh yeah, that smells a lot more like citrusy than I remember. Let's uh, let's give this a try. Let's give this a dab. Hopefully I like this. <laughs> I haven't put on perfume yet today. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty standard fruity floral, but it's not offensive. It's very light. Very light. I don't hate it, so I just feel like it's kind of like a generic fruity floral, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, it's good. So there we go, that out of the way. I saw, I kind of pulled out another cardboard type thing. Ooh, oh, now that's... That's a risky move there, putting a foundation in one of these, but oh my gosh, that's awesome that they put that in one of these. This is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Shell. I have tested this out before here on my channel, so if you want to see that review, you can definitely go ahead and do that if you want. I remember feeling pretty good about this stick foundation. It's not like the best for me, but it did work out okay. I did end up returning my stick just because it wasn't the greatest on me, but I'm actually kind of excited to have this little mini sample now. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do it in the triangle shape that the full size comes in, but I'm excited to give this another try. I do think Shell was the shade that ended up working on me, and yeah, that's just, that's an awesome freaking little sample there. That's exciting, and also scary, also scary that they would send out a foundation. Just cause like, what if that's not my shade? You know what I mean? <sighs> that's a gamble I guess Sephora was willing to take. So let's see, there's a little plastic baggie. Oh my gosh! Ha ha ha! This is one of the Beauty Blender Micro Minis! Oh 
Oh my gosh, I've always kind of wanted to try one of these, but I always thought they were kind of silly. I mean, I love the original Beauty Blender, and then this is one of the mini ones that you use for like, you know, under your eyes. People are probably gonna love this for me. I think you can use this like in your nose crease. I have a terrible time blending foundation into my nose crease, and oh my gosh, that is so exciting! So technically this isn't like a full size, but it is a full size. In a full size you get two of these, but... <laughs> Gosh, that's really exciting. And then let's see. I feel like there's a pretty big freaking bottle in here. What the heck is this? Ooh, this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist Spray Volume. This multitasking styler delivers instant and long-lasting root-to-tip volume, providing flexible hold and leaving hair touchably soft. Ooh, that's exciting. Let's see how this smells. Hmm. It's nice. It's a really, really citrusy salon kind of a smell, I guess. And this is a huge freaking bottle of this. Oh my god. I hope this works. I'm excited. Homegirl can always use a little bit more volume in her hair. <laughs> I have very thin and fine hair. So that's great. In a spritzy tube? This is... I'm... <sighs> I'm really excited about this bag so far and we still have a couple things left. What do we want? Do we want the squeezy tube or do we want the stick thingy? Oh, and there's another thingy. Oh, I think this is the cap. <laughs> yep, there was a cap to that. Good thing that didn't spray all over the place, but there's the complete last product. Okay, so like I was saying, do I want the stick thingy or the squeezy thingy? I think I'm gonna go for the squeezy thingy. I've never heard of this brand before. I am not going to pronounce this correctly. This is the Herborian Korean Skin Therapy Paris and Seoul Glow Cream. It's an illuminating face cream with an ultra radiant effect. That's kind of scary for me just because I have such oily skin. But let's see. Ooh, it's like a pretty opal. Oh, but that's very light. Like, I feel like when I blended that out, it didn't really do anything. So maybe, like, during the winter or something, this would be really nice to mix into a foundation just to give it that luminosity. I don't think it really smells like much of anything, so okay, I mean, I'm willing to test things out. And last but not least, we've got this long skinny stick thing. Ooh! <laughs> You guys, I love this bag! This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara, and then it is also the Lash Building Primer. So it's a dual-ended mascara primer mascara sample. That's so cool! Oh, I'm excited! I don't know that I've ever really used a lash primer before, but I know a lot of people really like them. So hey, I am more than willing to try this out. That is super exciting. You guys, I loved this bag! Yay for making up for me not getting one last month! Oh! I'm so excited! I mean, all of these things. I don't think there's one product where I'm like, eh, eh. You know, like, I mean, the foundation stick, yeah, I've tried it before, but because I returned it, I'm excited to have it again and give it another shot just because, I don't know, I kind of regretted returning it, but I don't know. I'm, I mean, that's just a really nice sample to have in there. This is a huge bottle of hair stuff, which I'm always excited to try out. A dual ended mascara thing, one of, like a mini beauty blender, this perfume, I'm not hating it, and then this glow cream. I'm always excited to try out something new, and it seems like it actually might work for me since it's not like super bling bling glitter that you would add in to your foundation with this. So Sephora Play, you killed it this month. Let's see if you killed it not only with your products, but also with your pun game. August 2017, it says this is the innovators. Elements of beauty. Get to know the hardworking ingredients that power your beauty routine. From a breakthrough blending tool to cutting edge hair care, we're bringing you advanced formulas and high tech products from brands that are paving the way for the future of beauty. <laughs> They're starting off strong for the mini beauty blender. It says, best blend forever. The mascara, life in the lash lane. For the foundation, into skin air. For the glow cream, it's full beam ahead. For the hair care, it's up in the hair, and the perfume when wishes come blue. <laughs> Sephora, you did so good on the puns and the products. I'm so happy with this box slash bag. Yay! I would love to know from you guys what you got in your Sephora play bag this month. If you get the Sephora subscription, they do send different things to different people based on the beauty profiles that they have. So I'm very curious to hear from you all to see what you got in your bag. Let me know what you would be excited about if you want me to do any first impressions or reviews or anything on this stuff. 
and overall I just love to hear from you guys down in the comments below so as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful entertaining whatever the case may be if you did please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below I would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future you can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel I would love to have you here and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye